hello! I've been doing a clear out and in the process of doing that I found this big bag of stuff full of stuff and I, I thought I'd go through the stuff and see what's in here I think it's mostly techie stuff from yeah look at that <laughs> I think that just fell off now this is a obviously a tape player for playing tapes do you remember that I used to use this when I was a journalist you could record people what's this <gasps> My dad got me this for my Christmas present once and I don't think I've ever used it. It's a disc man, but it's not really, it's a it's an Alba, so it's not it's a sort of knockoff disc man. Has it got headphones in it? I've I've not got headphones at the moment, so no <coughs> the trouble with disc mans is they are very big, look at that. So it's not really this is pre-iPod obviously. <coughs> I, I've, I didn't have an mp3 player and I did I have still got a load of CDs but I don't play them ever it's terrible isn't it what else is in this <gasps> this oh this is this was given to me by my dad I it's really good it's not got good sound though that's the trouble with this I need to use that oh I know what it is I know the problem with that is it doesn't do widescreen so I could use that I probably could use that I haven't used that though I need to use that, that's good. And this, oh, this is what I did Vestal Virgin on, a short film that I made. It's a Hi8, well it's actually a digital 8. And I remember what happened with this, is they stopped making the tapes for them. But before they stopped making the tapes for it, it stopped actually working. I couldn't open the, let's have a see. It's not, yeah, the, the, the thingy here, the loading door broke. So I couldn't really, oh, I wonder if that still works. Because sometimes when you put things away and they don't work, you come back to them and they actually work. I think I might actually have still tapes, like blank tapes that I could use this on. The trouble with this is it's really difficult to get your video into your laptop. You need an HDMI lead, which I actually found one of those earlier. Maybe I'll make stuff with the Hi8 again, if it works. Good memories. <gasps> Floppy disk! When I was at work, I had one of those big bubble apples. But it didn't have a floppy disk player, so I insisted that they got me a floppy disk player. <gasps> and I've still got it, because nobody else wants it. I've still got floppy disks somewhere. <gasps> That's actually quite a modern floppy disk, that's from the 2000s, that's not like a really, oh, this is like Packard bellies and it's compatible with an Apple Mac. Oh, these used to fascinate me, tiny little tape recorders. Used to get those and it was the, the most high tech thing ever, it looks like. Look at these and you can just, oh, and you can talk into them. Haven't used that for years. I did have a digital one of these, but I don't know what happened to it, it's just disappeared. Well, <gasps> a Game Boy! I said I had a Game Boy, I've got one! It's yellow, proof positive. And I've got Pokemon! So I could probably make that work. I don't think it's broken. I haven't got batteries, otherwise I would prove it to you. <gasps> I need batteries for that. That's the trouble, batteries. I don't know whether battery manufacturers have gone out of business because all the stuff that I used to have that used batteries don't use that anymore. I spent loads of money on that. Scion Series 5. It's really good. But, oh, there's a thing at the back missing. What was missing? Oh, it's the battery compartment. Ha! <laughs> and then, again, batteries. So, this is a really good thing. And it used to have like a little stylus. Has it still got a stylus? Have I lost the stylus? It did. It's got. A little thing, I, I think I might have lost the lead for that. Why didn't I use this anymore? Has it got, <gasps> it has, it's got a little stylus in the side. And then you can, whoo, you can do stuff with it. It's very low, it's like <laughs> 5mx. It's not very big, but you could, do, it's got a world clock and you can write things on it and an agenda and a jotter. I should probably have actually got and it, it eats you when you try to use it. So 
Now I've broken my hand. So, ooh, so Scion. When did I get that? I think that must have been early 2000s as well. And it was a load of money. Those, I stuck those on because I was working for Pojo's Pokemon and other cool stuff. So I used to get all sorts of things. So I did an article about the Powerpuff Girls and I got stickers from somewhere. So oh, I got that. Somebody gave it to me because I used to go to loads of events. That was a, that's a Disney Channel event. It's got Disney Channel on the top. That's that's proof. Look, look. There you go. So these are really good. I took loads of pictures with these. These were after Polaroids had really gone out of fashion, but they were trying to bring them back again, the early two thousands. And you stick your little film in, and then you get like a strip, like twenty little tiny, tiny, tiny little pictures. I have to dig some of those out. Oh, let's go to what else? Just oh. This, I bought this, and I was really excited about this. But the trouble with this, not a bad picture, the sound goes through here. And this fell off, so then it didn't, see? Really shoddily made. So Toshiba, shame on you. I think quite soon after I bought this, it's like 3X opti optical zoom CCD. It's a really good picture, rubbish sound. I think the second generation, they had good sound, but by that time it was too late. It just fell apart within a week. And I was too ashamed to bring it back because I thought, what an idiot. I bought something that was so pathetic. Ah! Oh! I was talking about the first blue mobile phone I had. This is not the first. I don't know where the blue one is, but look at that. It's like something out of the Matrix. I think I, I must have got that in like 2000 or maybe 2002, something like that. That certainly wasn't my first phone, but that's certainly among my first phones. This one, oh, that's one. This, this one's good. It's one of the first smartphones and it was really good and I got it on contract, but I think it stopped working. And then I, I dug it out when something wasn't working and it started working again. So maybe in an emergency, I can still use that, but I think it needs a different sort of SIM card to the one I've got, that's the trouble. Ah, another Game Boy. Now this is held together by tape is the trouble with that. This is a Game Boy Advance. And I think I might have some, some in here. Now I've got another Pokemon game. More phones! That's my last phone, last but one phone. I don't know when I had that one. Another Pokemon game! Final Fantasy. I love Final Fantasy. Just, oh, uh, that's waterproof wax for leather. That's not tech. I don't know what that's doing in here. What else? Oh, I've got games in here as well. Look! Games. Some of the games that I've bought over the years. What have, what's that? Oh, Dragon Quest. That's a good game. I like that game. Final Fantasy 12. That's good. I don't think I finished that one. Sing Star. Trouble with that is the uh, microphone. One of the microphones broke, so I couldn't really play with anyone else. Mist. Do you remember Mist? That's for the PC and Mac. I think I used to play it on my Mac. That was, I, I actually had that before I came to London, so that's well old, that's really old. Donkey Kong! Game Boy Advance, so that's a that should be a little one. Oh yeah, see, that's the difference between, see, Game Boy Advance are tiny, big Game Boys are like that, but you can play these on Game Boy Advance, but you can't play these on old Game Boys, because they don't fit in. Don't go, so it was. Sims! First generation Sims, is that Sims 2? No, that's... Original Sims, and oh, I love this game. This is a great game. This is an amazing game. This is, is it Sims of the Father? I don't know, French Revolution. Oh, actually, this isn't as good as the, um, the one I really like is the one, the second one, which has got the werewolves. This one's not so good. This isn't the best. The one with Tim Curry, which is the first one is good. That's not the best, but it's all right. Maybe I should. I don't know, I wonder if that still plays on PC. Well, the thing about old PC games is you they came with hundreds of discs. This one's only got three discs, but I know the second one has got so many discs. So they were trying to do video video game with, with actual video. All right, so that's, is there anything else in this bag? Ah, Zelda! I love Zelda. I'm gonna play Zelda now, and a pen. An old-fashioned pen. That's really old-fashioned tech. All right, well, 
I've gone all red and sweaty now from looking at all the excitement of the past. So I'm just going to put this up, looking all flushed and excited. Yay! I'm probably really shiny. <laughs> I'll play games. Bye bye!